hello students now i am going to discuss about the working of the ic 555 uh, in the digital electronic subject in the chapter called sequential logic circuits of the third semester electronics and communication okay now we will see the overview uh, here uh, we have to see the introduction to the IC555 then we will have to see the pin diagram of the IC555 then we will see the internal architecture of this IC555 then lastly we will see some multiple choice questions now uh, we will see the introduction for this uh, 555 IC uh, okay as you can see it is basically an integrated circuit chip used for uh, timing applications and uh, during the year 1970 it was manufactured by Signity Corporation introduced as a C or any 555 timer you know it produces accurate and highly stable time delays and oscillations okay and uh, a single triple five timer can provide time delays ranging from microseconds to hours okay and it can operate on plus 5 volts to plus 18 volts supply okay so these are the introduction points of uh, the triple five ic now we'll see the pin diagram okay so as you can see in the diagram it is having totally eight pins four pins on one side and the remaining phone on the other side so this type of IC packages are called dip package dual in line package ICs okay so here uh, as you can see the eight pins uh, which are uh, named as uh, pin number one you know it is a ground pin VCC power supply ground reference pin okay that is pin number one then pin number two is the trigger input okay is a trigger signal given for uh, the changing the state of the second comparator okay later on we'll see its internal diagram there you will come to know what is it exactly then uh, pin number three is the output pin okay at this pin we'll take the output of uh, the triple uh, five ic okay then pin number four it is a reset pin okay as the name indicates uh, when you give signal to this uh, pin pin number four the output is reset means that output is made as zero that is reset to zero all right now pin number five is a control voltage pin okay so this uh, is the input for the first comparator again we'll see in the next uh, architecture part what is it exactly okay now this pin number uh, six is the threshold input pin okay so as the name indicates it is a threshold voltage level so when uh, you exceed this uh, voltage level uh, some changes will happen in the first comparator output okay then you have pin number seven that is called as a discharge pin so as the name indicates at this pin you will be connecting external capacitor which will uh, discharge its charge through this pin okay so we'll see in details when we uh, go to a uh, example circuit like a stable or monostable multi vibrator then lastly this uh, pin number eight is a vcc where you connect a uh, plus uh, voltage of the uh, supply voltage plus vcc maybe 5 volts to 18 volts anything you can connect at this pin so in this way these are the eight pins of this uh, ic triple five all right okay now we'll see the internal diagram so as you can see in the slide um, the important parts uh, in this uh, IC triple five are uh, there are two comparators okay so which are written as which are named as UC means upper comparator then uh, LC means lower comparator okay so uh, I will just uh, expand the diagram all right yes so uh, these two are the comparators upper comparator and lower comparator then uh, the outputs of these two you know are uh, connected to a rs flip-flop okay as you can see r and s 
okay to these uh, inputs uh, the output of the two comparators are connected so this rs flip flop is called as a control flip flop okay then the output of the rs flip flop that is q bar is used here which is connected to the final output uh, through a inverter okay then the other connection is uh, to the internal transistor q2 as as the at the collector okay so emitter is uh, connected to a reference and the base is uh, taken as uh, pin number 4 that is a reset input similarly you know this q bar is also connected to the base of uh, another internal transistor q1 that is a npn transistor and the emitter of this is uh, nothing but pin number 1 that is ground connection and collector is pin number 7 that is a discharge pin okay so usually you will be connecting a capacitor here which will discharge through this collector base emitter and to the ground so this pin number 7 is called as a discharge pin and this this transistor q1 is called as a discharge transistor okay so other than these uh, comparators uh, rs flip flop and inverter here you see there are three registers uh, of equal value okay so they are of uh, 5 kilo ohms each 5k 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 okay so three registers which are connected to vcc pin number 8 that is vcc to the other end is connected to ground that is pin number 1 so these three are present inside <coughs> that's um, used to divide the voltage uh, as shown here as you can see here it is a uh, two third vcc at uh, pin number 5 that is uh, the inverting input of the first upper comparator okay then the other voltage uh, you get here is one third vcc that is connected to the inverting input of the second uh, sorry the non inverting input of the second comparator that is a lower comparator non inverting input that is positive terminal of the comparator is it not okay then uh, the other two inputs of the comparators you know the inverting uh, input of the upper comparator that is uh, uh, that is control input and uh, non inverting input is taken as output that is a threshold input pin number 6 and the lower comparator uh, the inverting input is uh, taken at the output as pin number 2 that is a trigger input okay so in this way uh, you can uh, see these are the different uh, uh, parts internal important parts of the triple five timer okay so uh, okay so this is what is called as internal architecture of the triple five timer okay now we'll uh, go to the next slide yes here the same points are given that is the functional uh, block diagram consists of as you can see it consists of uh, mainly two transistors two comparators and uh, rs flip flop and uh, three 5 kilo ohm registers is it not okay then inverting terminal of the upper comparator is connected to dc potential that is 2/3 vcc okay so to the register uh, divider network where you get 2/3 vcc to that point this uh, inverting terminal is connected then uh, next point the inverting terminal of the lower comparator is connected to the external pin external connection and uh, trigger uh, that is a trigger input okay and non inverting terminal is connected to dc potential of 1/3 uh, vcc that is a register divider network where you get 1/3 vcc to that point it is connected the output from the comparators is given to the rs flip flop so okay as i have shown in the previous slide okay the two uh, outputs of the comparators are connected to r and s input of the control flip flop rs flip flop okay yes now we will see the other points by connecting uh, external r and uh, c components the output state can be controlled that is the external two timing components resistor and capacitor will decide the output uh, signal duration time period okay so then the next point is 
therefore a train of pulses or a single pulse based on trigger input can be obtained with few external components that is by using one or two resistors and a capacitor uh, outside uh, by connecting them properly you can uh, get a train of pulses that is uh, going to work as a stable multivibrator or you can get a single pulse that is a monostable multivibrator okay then uh, the next point is basically ic triple five timer can be operated in three modes okay so this triple uh, five timer ic can be used as uh, one of these three circuits that is as a, a stable multivibrator you can use or a monostable multivibrator or a bistable multivibrator okay you know the stable means uh, it is going to produce uh, the timing signals continuously okay continuous pulses uh, you will get monostable means uh, whenever you give a trigger pulse it gives you the uh, mono uh, pulse at the output that is a monostable so it is having one stable state whereas a stable means it's not having any stable states continuously output is changing monostable means a single stable state uh, that is uh, permanently there and whenever you give a trigger pulse it changes for a while and again the stable state then the third one that is called a bistable multivibrator so it is having two stable states high and low so whenever you give a trigger pulse it goes to high and it remains there until you give a next trigger pulse to change the state then it will change to the opposite state that is zero so it is having uh, two stable uh, states so it's called a bistable multivibrator all right okay now the next slide here you see the applications of the ic triple five it can be used as a frequency divider to divide the given frequencies or it can be used as a storage device in computer memories or counters similarly it may be used as a latches uh, and counter it may be used as a latch or a counter then uh, it is used in pulse width modulation then uh, ir obstructor then it may be used in uh, voltage to frequency converter and also it can be used as a led flashing circuits or a police siren okay so when you connect uh, led to the uh, stable multivibrator it starts flashing so that is the application called led flashing then you when you connect it to the speaker the uh, stable uh, multivibrator put it works as a siren that is a police siren like this these are the different applications of uh, the triple five timer okay so now we'll see some uh, review questions um, the first one is the ic 555 timer consists of basically dash comparators so can you guess the answer how many comparators uh, is the question so it is as you if you remember the diagram it is having two comparators okay the answer is two the output pulse width of time delay depends upon dash and dash external components okay so that is the output pulse width the time duration depends upon the two components uh, which are connected externally so as i said the two components are mainly a resistor and a capacitor uh, then the internally ic triple five timer the inverting terminal of the upper comparator is connected to dc potential of how much the upper comparator you know it is connected to two third vcc okay so that is a higher voltage as compared to the lower comparator uh, then the internal uh, internally ic triple five timer the non inverting terminal is connected to dc potential of dash vcc that is how much so there are two voltage levels so which are divided for, by the resistor networks they are as i said 2/3 vcc and 1/3 vcc the upper comparator input is connected to 2/3 vcc then the lower trigger input is connected to uh, the the trigger input of the comparator the other input is connected to how much 1/3 vcc if the ic555 is used to generate a train or a sequence of pulses the circuit is called as continuous pulses okay which one it is it is nothing but a stable multivibrator all right the ic 